This is Gene Key, KDD News. Amarillo.com reports doctors performed emergency brain surgery on a seven-year-old girl hours after she suffered life-threatening injuries in a traffic collision in West Amarillo on Sunday afternoon. Atiana Salas suffered a crushed skull, broken femur, and broken arm about 2 p.m. when the Ford Contour in which she was a passenger collided with two vehicles. Atiana Salas's aunt was driving the car southbound in the right lane of Southwestern Street. As she passed a Ford Focus traveling in the left lane, the two vehicles made contact and the Contour swerved into the northbound lanes. A Chevrolet utility truck struck the Contour nearly head-on, crushing the passenger side of the vehicle. Investigators said Atiana was not in a child restraint seat. NewsChannel10.com reports straight-line winds from Sunday night's storm damaged a Pampa business and caused a wall in an abandoned building to collapse. No injuries were reported. The National Weather Service on Monday completed a damage assessment from the storm, which packed 75-mile-per-hour winds and caused a narrow area of damage between Bank Street and West Brown Street in Pampa. The front of the business in the 600 block of West Brown Street was blown into the street and a sidewall of an abandoned home on Bank Street collapsed. High winds also damaged a park sign at Municipal Park and a power pole. And once again, in case you're wondering about the upcoming Duma City election, there are two unopposed candidates for the City of Duma election for May 12th. Kim Rakoff, city secretary for Dumas, has certified that two candidates are unopposed for election to office for the general election scheduled to be held on May 12th. The unopposed candidates are Commissioner Place 1, Michael Funk, and Commissioner Place 2, Vernon McDowell. Unopposed candidates means no city election for May 12th in Dumas. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD News.